What's up everybody, I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and this is Nerf News episode 49. Starting off today, we have some new blasters from Orange Mod Works. So as suggested in their name, they usually make mod kits, but now they're actually making full blasters. So we have three blasters so far. This is the first one, the DMA-300. This is going to be a sci-fi rifle-esque thing that is going to take a half-dart magazine through the grip. We don't know if this is going to be compatible with Katana or Talon, or if this is a whole new system, but it's probably going to be a whole new system based off of what it looks like. This is probably going to be flywheel and as it is clearly electronic it has some leds in it and it has a built-in ammo counter and it is a single trigger not a rev and then a primary trigger next up is another new blaster from orange mod works and this is another sci-fi-esque blaster this is the cybertech corp which is clearly designed after sci-fi and this looks kind of like a sci-fi p90 these are going to be available in white orange and pink so far and maybe some more and this is going to take a half dart magazine through the front which can also be doubled as a grip it has a thumbhole stock that looks pretty small and other than that it also looks flywheel as it has built-in leds and a single trigger again and no obvious ways to prime it so it is most likely going to be flywheel this does have picatinny rail on the sides so you can attach attachments unlike the last one we talked about and i'm really excited to see how these turn out last up for the orange mod works blasters is another sci-fi blaster this one looks like a chewbacca blaster like nerf has produced in the past but this one is probably going to be much better it does not look like a shotgun it looks like it'll take a half dart magazine through the handle again. It has a thumbhole stock, but this one's much bigger than the first blaster we talked about, and so this one actually looks comfortable. It's going to be flywheel most likely, because it does not have any obvious ways to prime, and it is, again, a single trigger system with LEDs obviously in there. It does look to have a jam door on the top, unlike the other two, and it has a nice sight. I don't know when these are going to be coming out, or how much they're going to be coming out for, but at Ragnar Oktoberfest 2019, in about a month's time, these will be debuting, so they will be able to use them there. I don't think they're going to be able to buy them at Ragnar Oktoberfest, but they may. So I'll let you know if I found out more information. Next up, we have a new Strife kit by Eric1218. It's the UMP kit. This is available on Thingiverse now, and it's fully 3D printed minus the screws and stuff. I think this thing looks pretty cool, and you can print it in whatever colors you want since it is 3D printed, obviously. The files are available on Thingiverse right now, and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to go look at that. And it does also have a list of all the different screws that you need for this. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And last up for today, we have a new Caliburn. And this is a double-barreled Caliburn. It is made by Captain Slug, as of all the other Caliburns. And this has a double magwell, and then it is primed via one handle, and it has one trigger and stuff like that but it has two barrels two magwells so it's going to shoot two darts at once so it's effectively a shotgun it does have a stampede type thumbhole stock and stock in the back which looks pretty cool and he says that the files will be released tomorrow afternoon but they're not out as of the time of this recording and i'm really out of time to get any more recording in and so i'll let you guys know in the future if there's more stuff about this that pops up that is going to be it for this episode of nerf news if you enjoyed please like share and subscribe for nerf news mods reviews and more i'm the nerf modding nerd and i'll see you next time